Hey y'all. It's been a long freaking time, hasn't it? Oh my god. I've been busy as shit. I've been oh my god. This year has not been a good one so far, you guys. Oh my god. So um you know, I had such a clear list in my head of shit I was gonna talk about and now it's gone, like what always happens. <laughs> Um, January, Eureka, seen here, I hope. If the editing thingy works. Um, the cat we've had for nearly 20 years was unfortunately put down. She was 19 years old. She was very old, obviously. In human years, she would have been like 180 or something crazy like that. Ugh, eyelashes and you know she was just she was very sick and she wasn't really living anymore so it was just her time and that's you know that's how it goes but it just sucks you know because 20 years is a long time to spend with a person it's a hell of a long time to spend with an animal so some of you guys who follow me on Facebook have seen this already I can't get a good angle <laughs> We got her in 2001, and we lost her, I guess, in 2019. When we lived in Korea, somehow, I don't remember where we got them from or even why, um, we brought home a bunch of like little fake roses. They were white. And for some reason, the cat would go crazy for those things. Like, she just, oh my gosh, like they were full of catnip, or like she thought it was a rat or something. She used to tear around the house with them, holding them in her teeth. She was so cute. And so I figured, you know, a rose. It'll be, I guess, a little less obvious than like a paw print or a cat or something. I don't know. I was in mourning when I got it done. I, I was seriously like, the day before I got it done, I had gotten the news on Thursday and the day before I got this done was a Friday. I tried to go to work and not only was the day at work kind of crap, but I was also, I'm picking at my steering wheel. There's a dog over there! Hi, buddy! <laughs> ADD strikes again, holy shit. Hey, buddy! Looks like a shepherd. I think it's a shepherd. Can, can you guys see him? Over there? Maybe you can see him. Anyway, <laughs> fucking hell. I'm talking about my cat. Um... <laughs> So yeah, and I was just having a shit day at work, and I was having, you know, one thing that went wrong that pushed me over the edge. So I went home early, and I just, you know, well, it was, it was terrible. So that was January. February was also kind of shit. February tends to be, for some reason, since like 2015, February is the worst year of the month for me. I don't know why. I keep looking at the dog, he's so cute. <laughs> Let me turn my gas off. It's a weird noise. Um, but yeah, Februarys tend to be absolutely awful. I don't know why. February this year was absolutely awful. Um, I'd been having a lot of bad mental health days. I'd gotten some distressing news about, you know, family going through stuff. And then I found out that the other cat we've had that was, well, we didn't have her quite as long, but a long time, Missy, our other cat, Yeah, her, um, who would have been 20 this year, had to be put down because same reason. She was very old. She was very sick. You know, she wasn't really living anymore. The medicines that we were giving her to basically keep her alive, she wasn't taking anymore. So there wasn't much point, unfortunately. And my sister took it really hard. But, and so the day I got that news, I was just, I had a minor, I guess, I don't know if a panic attack can be minor, but I had a panic attack, and so I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to go to work and have to leave early like I did last time this happened, I'm just gonna call in sick for the day. So I called my boss, and I told him what's up, I'm like, it was being vague, I'm like, look, there's an issue with my family, and I can't come in tomorrow because of it, and I got a message back from him saying, you've been missing too many days, we need to have a talk about this on Monday. And in my anxiety-ridden head, I'm going, fuck, I need a new job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Just, oof. Obviously, I didn't have to get a new job because I just got off work. 
finally left t- this the first time this today this week that I got off work on time. <laughs> All the other days I've been working, I've gotten off like an hour late because I've been working on people. But anyway, um, and so I spend the entire weekend basically freaked the fuck out, like, oh my god, I'm gonna, you know, he's gonna yell at me, and I'm gonna. You know, I've been screwing up enough as it is. I'm going to have to find a new job. I went to Craigslist and looked around. I called a couple of places. Come Monday, I'm going through the day normally, and he doesn't seem, like, irritated with me or anything. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm overreacting. Hopefully I'm overreacting. And right before I was going to leave, he pulled me aside and he goes, look, I understand, you know, the family stuff and, you know, being sick, getting injured and all that. But just little things like, you know, Sometimes he could tell when I just wasn't feeling it and didn't want to come in. And then there were other days where I'd find, like, a, a lame excuse and just leave early. He was he was saying that that's the kind of shit that needs to stop. And I totally agree with him, you know. Um, it kind of, I guess, scared me straight because I haven't had a skip day in about a month. And so here's the funny part. We had that talk on February 14th, Valentine's Day. I remember because we had these gift baskets that didn't sell and so we got to take him home. I have a, I have a fake plastic rose that was in one of them. It's just sitting here in my car. But yeah, that's how I clearly remember the date. And so I'm thinking, okay, you know, get your shit straight, you know, quit fucking around. So the next morning I get up early. I'm gonna go to work early. I'm gonna be on time. This is gonna be, you know, mm, get shit done. No. That's, that's not what happened. You want to know what happened? I stopped at a gas station to get some bottles of water to last me the day. Speaking of which, excuse me. Oh, hydration. Stopped to get some bottles of water. And where I parked, you know how a lot of parking lots will have like those little median things where there's like a tree and some fake grass and a curb? I parked next to one of those. I parked next to the curb. And so I'm, let's say this is the curb. This is my foot. I stepped on it and slipped because the boots I was wearing did not have any tread left. I need to get rid of those. That would have been bad enough because I fell and busted my ass. What's worse is after I slipped, my foot landed in a pothole, my right foot, and did this. No, no, wait. Um, This is my right foot. It went like that. And all of my considerable, being real, all of my considerable weight went onto that one ankle. I have never in my life experienced pain like that. My, getting my IUD put in, PMI, whatever, didn't hurt that much. Oh my god, that hurt so fucking much. Ugh. And so I'm, like, laying on the ground, half under my car, like, And so I'm thinking, okay, I, I can't miss work. I cannot miss work. I gotta get to work. And so I like drag myself up and there's a group chat for work. I text the group chat. I'm like, hey guys, I fell. I think I've twisted my ankle. I'm gonna get a compression bandage and I'll be in. And as soon as I was able to sit in the car and I went to put my foot on the gas, I screamed again. Cause it hurt so goddamn bad. I was thinking, fuck, my foot's broken. And so, <laughs> It's like 9.30. Not, no, it's not even that early. It's like 8, in, eight, 8 or 9 in the morning. Early as shit. And of course, Shane got off late that night. You know, the night before. Like, between 3 and 5 in the morning. And I called him, I kid you not, six times on his phone, which he didn't answer, of course. He never answers his phone when something's gone wrong. Except for my car accident. That, he did answer that time. Um, but anyway, and so I'm calling and I'm like, fuck, I, ah... So I'm driving, like, the mile between the gas station and our house, just, like, gritting my teeth, like, red-faced in such pain, thinking, I gotta get him to take me somewhere. Not the hospital, because we can't afford another fucking hospital bill. Between the two of us, we have, like, four emergency room bills that we're still paying off. Yay! Ugh. Thankfully, the, uh, hospital bills from my, you know, car accident, where I flipped twice, um, those are taken care of, thank fuck. But now we have these other ones because, you know, he pinched his back and then I pinched my back and then he did this and ugh, ugh, just, I'll, I'll rant about the fucking medical system in this country later. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Oh, well, I'm glad it's not hot down here. Poor thing. Anyway, fucking shit. Um, 
And so I get home, I'm sitting in my car looking at the stairs because we live on the second floor of our little building thing. And I'm thinking, fuck. And like, I'm almost in tears. It hurts so much at this point. And I'm thinking, fuck, answer your phone, Shane. And he doesn't. And so I lay on the horn and he doesn't respond to that. And I'm thinking, fuck. So I like limp out of the car and because I'm right-handed, that tends to be the foot that is dominant as well. Like, when you walk up the steps, the, fir the first step up you take, that's your dominant foot. Mine is my right, which is, of course, the one that I fell on. And so I'm, like, doing this, like, pathetic little, like, half-jump wiggle to get up the stairs. It takes me two minutes to get up the fucking stairs. and only takes 30 seconds. <sighs> Talking a lot, out of breath. I push the door open. And I call for Shane because I don't want to move anymore at this point. I'm like, Shane, babe. And of course he freaks out. What? What? Oh my God. Comes running out into the, uh, the living room area where I'm sitting on like a, an ottoman or something. And I went, I think I broke my foot. He goes, fuck. And so we called my mom because, you know, she's pretty much a nurse. And I told her what happened. And she goes, yeah, you need to see somebody. And I'm thinking, fuck. We can't afford that. So what we did was we went to went to an urgent care like two towns away and they took care of me. Thank God. And so I'm I have to like hobble down the stairs again, which was so much fun. I'm I really think I've done permanent damage at this point to my damn foot. Um anyway, so I go to urgent care. They run an x-ray, nothing's broken that they can see. That's good. What's not good is that on both sides of like my heel, I have a huge bruise. That, you know how bruises are. They start off like red and then they turn yellow. After a week, it was black. And like it had spread. It looked like I had like lividity. You know, um, story time or fun fact. When a person dies, if they are left... When a person dies, depending on how, like, a lot of things, because death is iffy. If, say, I were to die right here, sitting down, all of my blood would pool in my lower legs and my feet. And when that happens, it looks like a really deep bruise. And it's called lividity. And I'll put a picture up of my foot here. That's what my foot looked like. I had, like, a corpse foot, basically. And I made a post on Facebook about that, calling it that, which freaked people out, but it's me, whatever. Um, <laughs> and so they wrap me up with an ace bandage, and they give me two crutches. One for each pit. And I'm like, I don't know how to fucking use these. And so I'm like... You know, trying to fucking figure out how to walk with basically four legs now. And Shane, who, of course, has... Hi, doggy. <laughs> uh, who, of course, has been on crutches many, many times because he's, you know, Captain Destructor. He, um, <laughs> he takes them from me after we're out the door. And he goes, it's like this. Just pop, 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 pop. And he, like, did, like, a half jog down the steps or the, um, like, the ramp with these crutches on. And I'm like, how the fuck did you do that? And by this point, I'm like, I can barely walk. I'm taking, like, teeny, tiny little, you know, Ajima grandma steps. And I'm thinking, ugh, I'm not going to fuck with these crutches. I, I, just, I can't do it. And so I go down, like, the two or three steps to the truck, which was a mistake because pain. I finally get home. I, like, bitch and moan and cry my way upstairs. Shane's laughing at me because it's funny, apparently. And we get home. I sit on the couch put my feet up, ice, rest, all that stuff. And the whole time this has been going on, I've been texting my boss, who, remember, not even 24 hours ago told me that I've been missing too many days of work. Mm -hmm. And so, as we get to the fucking urgent care place, I texted him and I went, look, I know we just talked about this and I feel like a complete asshole, but I may have broken my foot and I won't be in today. And, of course, he didn't answer, but I know he reads them. And so just to prove it, I sent him a picture of my, you know, very badly bruised foot and then me getting an x-ray on it.
And so, of course, before we leave the, the urgent care place, the doctor is talking to me. She goes, okay, do you think you can be back to work by Thursday? And I'm like, eh, I don't know. Because it was some pretty severe pain. And I said, I don't think so. Because, you know, I work downtown. And she goes, oh, you're not going in until Monday then. And I'm like, okay. Fuck. So, the day after I'm told I'm missing too many days of work, I have to be out of work for a fucking week. Hey, just adding in some extra stuff that I, you know, didn't really talk about. Um, that week that I was home, I could not walk on my foot without extreme pain. So what I did was, because I wasn't going to fuck around with the crutches at the house. Fuck that. And so I got the um, wheeled desk chair from the office and I just rolled around the house in my little chair. <laughs> Which was hilarious and stupid and just, oh my god, I never want to do that again. <laughs> so yeah, just picture me basically looking like this, just scooting around the house like... Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> anyway. That was five weeks ago. Um, since then, I've been on and off of crutches, on and off of compression wraps, you know different things and my foot still goddamn hurts it still hurts i went to my doctor not the wednesday that just passed but the one before and told her about it and i'm like look you know we got to do something about this and she basically told me like well there's not a whole lot we can do you know we can send you to physical blah, send you to physical therapy we can do this and that and i went um no in my head i'm thinking fuck that because one it's expensive and two I want to see if there's something actually like wrong with the damn foot because there could be like a hairline fracture that they didn't see and so I say no let's just skip that and send me to a specialist I'm supposed to get a call from an orthopedist I'm supposed to get a call either today or yesterday which hasn't fucking happened yet so come Monday I'm gonna call them and tear them a new one like look I'm still in goddamn pain we need to fix this get me the fucking phone number so that was February Actually, that wasn't all of February. I um, forgot that um, old friend of mine, Rain, she was going through her own personal shit that I was kind of helping her out with, and she came by after she was she's blah, blah, blah. she stopped at our place because it's like a halfway point between where she was up in Maryland and where she was going down in Florida, and she brought socks with her. You know, one of the kittens from about a year or two ago. And it was good to see her. It was good to see the cat. And then about... Milan, what are you doing? And, like, about a week after that, I get a call from Rain while I'm at work. And I can barely understand her because she's so upset she's crying so hard we still don't know what happened but socks just gone basically just poof drop dead it's completely awful and that's another thing that i had a freak out about that day that i found out about missy too and just i felt so bad because you know he was just it, she loved that cat more than anything, and that was really the only good thing left that she had. And it's just not fair. And I, I, st I still can't think about it without getting too upset. I mean, at least with my two cats, they were old and we were expecting it. But with Socks, I mean, he was still just a baby. And so... Yeah, that happened too. I think about a week before I messed up my foot. So yeah, Februarys are complete shit. Just fuck February. Seriously. And then March was... March was okay. Um, or has been so far, because it's not April yet, but pff, fuck, close enough. But yeah, March so far has been alright, apart from the pain. Apart from the pain. <sighs> I made my first, I think, first $1,000 plus paycheck in March, which was just hot damn. Yeah, I fucking earned that shit. Yeah, damn right I earned that fucking paycheck. You know how? Because the 
Saturday, either immediately after I returned from work or the week after. Either way, I was still pretty much on crutches. I worked a Saturday. Normally I have Saturdays off because I can spend time with Shane. But we had three very large parties that day and Shane was going to be off on Sunday. And so I said, you know what? You know, I want to make up for the days that I've missed and I know they're going to need the extra help even if I am a bit slow. So I went in. And that day I made like $200? Something crazy like that, yeah. And I was in so much pain. And I really, really just, oh my god. <sighs> I did wind up leaving two hours early because the pain was too much. But at that point, everything had kind of calmed down. And so it wasn't as busy. But just, oh my god. I, I, I Yeah, I fucking earned that paycheck. Goddamn right. And so you know what I did with it? I spent it. <laughs> Actually, no. I put 200 into savings, and then I got, um, I bought some of those chameleon markers, you know, the ones that you can blend with, because I've been wanting them for so long, and I finally had the money. And then I also got two tickets to go and see, I can never pronounce it, Hoser, Hosier, um, take me to church, guy. I'm going to go and see him in May in Colombia with my sister, and I am so excited, because she and I have never done it, something like that before, and it's just, you know, because just, yeah, I'm like super psyched, and so I got tickets to go and see him, I, you know, got some art stuff for myself, the rest I put into savings, and I'm going to try and make, you know, the last couple of bits I have last until my next paycheck, but anyway, yeah, I fucking earned that paycheck, I went through a lot of shit to get that money, anyway, I did not intend for this video to be nearly 20 minutes long, but whatever. I don't even know if I'm gonna fucking upload it. But, um... Yeah, update. I've been busy. I've been hurting. In my downtime, I've been playing some more of the hidden object games. Hopefully, my damn computer's still busted. During the week I was off of work, I was desperate for something to do because I couldn't leave the house, obviously, because, you know, my damn foot wasn't working and I was in pain. And so I tried to, um, I was going to play some stuff on my 3DS, but then I didn't know where the games were, so that didn't fucking work. And out of desperation, I thought, I wonder if the old Toshiba that I've had since 2009, 10 years old, will still turn on. And it works. It still fucking works. The dinosaur still works. And so that's what I've been playing the hidden object games on. You know, thankfully those don't take up a whole lot of, like, processing power or whatever. Um, I don't think I'm going to record with that computer, though, because it's a lot more than it can handle, which is the entire reason I got the purple computer, which I believe is a Dell. I'm looking at it right now. Piece of shit. That's the one that bricked, so, you know. <sighs> anyway, hopefully once I find, you know, a computer that works and save up for it and buy it and all this, because I do have the time, it's just a matter of finding the energy. Um, but I do plan on bringing those back to the channel, because I really enjoyed it, and, you know, I was getting a lot of views on it, and they're just, they're really fun, they're really easy to make, too. So hopefully that will be a thing that happens sooner rather than later, but it all depends on me getting a computer. Which, you know, is dependent on me getting money, which depends on work, and this and that, and ugh. So I've been talking for 20 minutes straight. It's about time that I shut up. I will see you guys eventually. I don't know when, to be perfectly honest. Uh, thanks for watching. If you stuck around this long, I don't know, like 50 Reddit points to you. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go home and have some ramen and then take a long fucking nap. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, donuts. This is gross. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>